Every second person suffers from a mental health disorder at least once in their lifetime. In addition, we all know someone or we have a friend or a relative who struggles with such issues. Hence, mental health problems affect us all, directly or indirectly. But to this day, the topic remains associated with shame. We go to see a doctor when we break a leg, but we are often too ashamed to seek professional help when we're dealing with mental health problems. Shame can lead us to spend a lot of energy trying to find solutions ourselves. We can help ourselves with simple measures such as breathing exercises. But if our thoughts, feelings and behaviours are interfering with how we want to live our life, we should see a professional. The solutions we come up with ourselves may not always be the best or may even worsen our situation. With this interactive video, we address people with mental health challenges as well as their relatives as a way to destigmatize mental health problems. We accompany three people with different mental health problems on their journey and learn what strategies they have developed to cope with their challenges. The video is a collaborative effort with professional psychotherapists. I would like to have a solid circle of friends, but most of my friends distance themselves from me. I was told I was being negative most of the time. Maybe they're right. What if I start painting again? My partner has bought me new canvases, brushes, and paint, but I just don't feel like I'm getting anything done. I have no energy. I feel exhausted all the time. I wish I could meet new people and make friends. But I always act so strangely in social situations. I got to the point where I avoid people as much as possible. Why do I always overthink everything? There's always this thought carousel I can hardly stop. I just feel scared and lonely. I love being active and having a drink with other people. It helps me not to think about my sister's suicide for a moment. When I'm alone at home, uncontrolled emotions come up. In those moments, I often drink wine to numb them. It may not be the best solution, but it works for me. Michael, Ella and Anne are struggling with different mental health challenges. Click on the person whose journey interests you the most. <laughs> 